Coming up, you're gonna discover how to use Apple search ads to find new keywords for your campaign and more importantly for ASO. I've been able to find some really nice gems using this exact strategy. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is your boy Steve P. Young back and better than ever. And I want to show you a brand new module that I just recorded for the new App Masters Academy. And it shows you somehow I just stumbled upon this little strategy, but how I go into search ads and try to use a tool to come up with brand new keywords. And for a few clients that I've been doing ASO on, because as you guys might be aware, ASO is a lot harder now with iOS 11, but I've been using search ads to discover new keywords, especially when I feel kind of stuck and I've been able to find some really decently traffic keywords with low competition. So it's Apple search ads and I'm gonna show you how to use it to find these nice hidden gems. So let's go straight into the module. What is up at Masters Academy? This is the ASO Masters course and this is a brand new module that I just put together because with iOS 11, like a lot of things are changing on iOS 11 and what we typically saw in iOS 10, we saw like 50 to 100% increases in downloads and now with iOS 11, things are starting to change. So the same strategies are working because one client, we 5 x his impressions. So these strategies that are in ASO Masters, they're working but we only saw about a 6% increase in downloads. So a lot of things are changing and we just have to really come up with new strategies. And that's why I came up with this brand new strategy because I was just stuck. So I think, well, let me talk about this first, but iOS 11, now that it's out, I think it's really, really important, especially if you have a new app, to really think about what keywords you wanna put in that app name. So don't come up with anything clever, like really think through what the app name should be called and try to target keywords that would be perfect for your app name. I know one of the clients that we've been working with and we actually saw a really good increase in downloads, but he was always starting off a good bar. Like his app name was the keyword phrase that he was targeting. So if you're going after exercising or exercise, you know, think think about like, you know, seven day exercises or butt exercises, whatever it is, the phrase that you wanna go after, I think this is gonna be really important moving forward too. Okay, it's because Apple's doing a lot of changes. But I stumbled upon this strategy because I was stuck. I was just like, what other keywords are there for this app? Because for me, I wanna get really creative, right? I don't wanna think inside the box all the time. I wanna think outside the box. And so I got kind of stuck, meaning that the keywords that I was obviously already putting in there were inside the box. Like, okay, they're pretty obvious, right? But I wanted to think about, okay, what else could there be? And so what I did was I just went into search ads and I put the client's app name in there and I just like stumbled upon this particular strategy. So let's get into the screen share and I'll show you exactly how to use search ads to find some really, really good traffic keywords that have low competition. I found some really nice gems in there, okay? You're not always gonna find the nice gems, but it's a really easy process and you can have a VA do this as well. All right, let's get into the screen share. All right guys, so I'm in search ads. What you wanna do is create a new campaign. So I'm already in that screen right now. And then I'm gonna put my app name in there. So if you haven't signed up, definitely sign up. I'm gonna put Osnap, it's a camera app that I built back in 2014. It's out there, I'm gonna target the US. Now you don't have to put a budget, but if you wanna put a budget, you can. I'm not actually gonna run search ads campaigns. I'm actually just gonna find different keywords. So that's why I'm using this tool for as well. And if you wanted to find new keywords that you wanna actually bid on, then this is a great tool as well. A client that we were both working <laughs> together on, he was like, Steve, I saw the new keywords that you came up with and I started running some ads against them and some of these are really converting really well. So it's a great tool to find different keywords that you, sh you might not be bidding on that actually would convert for you, right? So two spots, ASO and actual search ads keywords that you can bid on. Okay, so this is the part that we're gonna focus on the keywords part. And in this section now, I actually have a Chrome extension installed where I can see scores. So if you don't have that extension installed, you're just gonna see blue bars that show you the, the popularity of this. But because the extension is installed, I can actually see numbers. So that helps me, right? So what you do is, this is really simple, you're gonna laugh, but I just to put add to keywords. And I just keep doing this. So as you can see, you know, I'm starting to see some popularity and without the Chrome extension, you're gonna see this blue bar. Sorry, call just came in. All right, without this extension, you're gonna see a blue bar. Man, I put this on do not stir. Okay, anyways, look, 
this is all, let's just throw this fanciness out of the window. I'm going to click, keep clicking on add to keywords. And as you can see, there's some keywords with really high popularity. Now, if you have the Chrome extension installed, I'm actually going to do this real quick, but you can put oh snap any keyword and it'll start doing that. And you can see the number and then this all becomes numbers too. All right. So anyways, I'm going to add this to keywords. Oops. All right. Good. So again, it started me over, but I'm just going to click, keep clicking active keyword. And here's what I'm really trying to find is, oh, okay. This one has search popularity. I don't know what that is. Let me figure that out. Or this one has pretty good traffic, you know, search traffic. Let me figure out what this is or pick tap. Okay. That's interesting. Let me figure that out. So I'm just looking for some that have really decent search volume. So if I'm only just seeing this bar, like, oh snap. Okay. That's interesting. Candid video. Okay. Tap anywhere. Not that huge, but all right. Could be potential, but slide the shakes. That's interesting. So let me see what the, the competition score is in mobile action and sensor tower or any ASO tool you want to use. You could throw the competition, try to find competition there. So I'm just going to keep clicking, right? Photo editor. That seems to be obvious, but shake camera. Cause my camera allows you to shake and then it flips the screen, right? So that might be interesting for me to put into sensor tower as well. So add to keywords again. And some of these are keywords that are already in my actual keyword field. Right? So you can put competitors in there just to figure out, okay, what other keywords they might be using in their keyword field. But that's what is coming up with certain, some, some of the suggestions are coming up with that. But analog camera, okay, that's interesting. So now I'm just pulling out keywords that have decent traffic, right? This is probably too little, too little, too little, but I'm just trying to find some. And you just keep clicking through. Like, okay, interesting. Perfect camera, mm, that's interesting. Terminal camera, slide shake, okay. Candid photos, collage maker, of course. Awesome photo collage. And you just keep clicking. And what you do is you can either pull all these keywords and throw them into sensor tower. But what I've been trying to able to find are just some really nice gems. So I'll just, I usually pick a few that I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Let me get the scores on that. Or that's interesting. So I'll select a few. I won't put all of them in, but I'll select a few. And a lot of these are already in my keyword fields anyways, but there's a few that I've been able to find like, oh, I didn't even think about that. That was really cool. Like certain misspellings that I've been able to find where I'm like, oh man, like I didn't think this misspelling would have so much traffic, but it does and very little competition. So I've been using search ads to actually find these keywords. And what, like I said, to recap, you can find the low competition keywords using this tool and that have decent traffic. So you can already see the traffic, right? That have decent traffic. And then secondly, you can find certain keywords that actually might make sense for you from a search ads perspective and see, figure out like, oh, this actually does convert or this doesn't convert as well. My client who's already running search ads and I did the optimization, like I said, he's actually seen some really good keywords that are converting really well based off this research that I did. All right, hope that was helpful. If you got anything out of this and if you're starting to utilize that strategy, look, what I love is data. So please provide me with that. Like, hey, Steve, that worked or Steve, that didn't work. Whatever it is, please let me know as well. And if you want to see anything within at Masters Academy, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and let me know what you want to see as well. We're going to bring on a lot of experts onto the Academy to talk about what you have the most questions to this. Because if I can't answer it, I probably know somebody who can. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next course. I'm back. <laughs> Hope that was helpful. Look, I've been using search ads a lot and it's been really, really helpful, especially when I am stuck or when you're like, Hey, it's a very niche app. There's only a few select keywords I can target. Go in there, maybe give you, get some inspiration within search ads, been able to find some really, really cool keywords, especially, especially when I'm stuck. And I've actually done it this for a game. So I'm going to see what the results are. I haven't shared the results. I didn't want to really talk about the game side of things because we haven't launched the app, but just did the ASO for the client, but I found some really cool keywords that have good traffic below competition, but we don't know what that's going to do in terms of growth. So we'll figure that out, that part out later, but I'll, I'll share those. I'm sure I'll share those statistics when that comes out as well. And if you want to check out at masters Academy, go to at masters academy.com at masters academy.com, get access to all our courses. It has the ASO masters, what this module is pulled out of the Apple featured course, a brand new game design course. And we're going to be creating a lot, a lot more courses as we start building this up and ramping this up. It's not going to stay at $25 a month for very long. I'm going to start increasing the prices. As I know, we revamped the website, we revamped the layout, and I know the strategies are working in there as well. Oh, the last thing I'll plug is the version two of Black Hat ASO strategies up 
on App Masters Academy. So if you got the first version, the second one is up on App Masters Academy. You can see how we do all of it now moving forward. The first version was good. I talked to somebody who modified that first version. I was like, oh, this is a way better way of doing it. And so this better this version is working out pretty well for us. And the Black Hat ASO strategy is actually still pretty effective. I show how my keyword rankings go up and down based off of just reviews in your keywords or reviews, having keywords in your app store reviews. All right, guys, that's it at mastersacademy.com. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. Thanks.